But tonight, people pack Cincinnati City Hall, not because of a budget or a new law, but a bigger issue of what leaders here should say about events overseas. It's all over a resolution for a ceasefire in Gaza that some council members support and some don't. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart listened to hours of public testimony and joined us live outside City Hall. Jess, what can you tell us? Yeah, people who support the resolution think it would be inhumane not to sign it. Those against it say it would be further divide the community by signing it. Overall, it's a really peaceful conversation, but at times it did get heated. Hi, if you could all look at me while I'm speaking, because I see a lot of you are not looking up here. People demanded attention from the Cincinnati City Council. You don't have to solve this. All you have to do is care, be human, call for peace, call for a ceasefire. A ceasefire resolution from the city council, though symbolic, risk widening the chasm as we see already exists within our community. Dear council members, they listened to four and a half hours of public comment over a possible resolution for a ceasefire in Gaza. Councilmember Mika Owens and Vice Mayor Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney support it. Council members Mark Jeffries, Reggie Harris, and Seth Walsh don't. They say a ceasefire resolution would be divisive. Every level of government wants to be heard on things that they have no control over. Is it the city council's job to pass resolutions? Should city councils even touch these things? Well, certainly you couldn't be spending your day worried about the Middle East if folks are unsatisfied with basic city services. You know, this is, you know, in effect, a luxury item for the city council. Niven says they have to weigh when and how they show where they stand. It's a conflict that played out in council chambers. It feels good to say something. And when you do say something, not everyone will agree with it. You are siding with the oppressor by not calling for a ceasefire. And there was a ceasefire and Hamas violated it. Are we crazy? Another ceasefire? so they can rearm and then violate it again. Some people think they shouldn't say anything at all. This war is not the business of our Cincinnati City Council. It will detract from Cincinnati's Council's important work. At the very end of public comment, Mayor Aftab Puraval weighed in. He believes this is something that the City Council should not take up at this time, and it did not, at least not tonight. Live outside City Hall, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.